And by the time we started our own Facebook page, it kind of exploded with excitement. And there were all these demands for a reunion, even though that was not the intention at all when I started the Facebook page. It was just to archive our shit, you know? So, um, and then seeing the, the enthusiasm was just very, very heartwarming uh, to all of us. Now, I, uh, I think I saw you at another couple of gigs, which I want to mention, 1996 in Scottsdale, Arizona with DGEN, which was a great night, and 1994 at the Astoria in London when Hungry for Stink had just come out. But I'm getting off track. Danita, let me run something by you. With songs like Drama, Bad Things and Off the Wagon, among others, that 1997 album, The Beauty Process, is a really solid record, and I think that album should have done bigger things. Do you think it was just released at the wrong time? I mean, it was a weird time for music and rock and roll in general, you know? Well, first, I'll agree with you about that record. I think it's my favorite L7 record. Uh, we mm. got dropped on that record. So yep. they didn't even do a video for that record. Um, you know, London Records dropped us first, and then Warner Brothers dropped us. So... I think it was a weird time. I think, um, you know, uh, grunge was kind of dying off. Uh, I don't know. I, I, um, Jennifer had left the band. It was a weird time, you know, and we, we had switched managers and I, and mm. I highly suspect something weird went down with that. Cause, um, I've never talked about this, but our, our original manager was very tight with London records. And when we got rid of him, I think something weird went down, but that's just mm. my, that's just my gut on it, which I kind of realized years after the fact, like, oh, shit, I wonder if firing what's his name had to do with that, you know, so mm. it, it's very possible. But yeah, I thought it was a good record, too. And, and we got dropped on that record. 